Welcome to Mast Wasting and Running Water lab prep video. So in lab, you're going to be using a combination of things. So you're going to have some topographic maps, you're going to use Google Earth, and then you're going to do a couple sand and water experiments. So make sure, just like the previous weeks, so you have everything printed out and you've read everything before coming to class. For this portion of the lab, you're going to be using a stream table set up just like this with a curved pattern for your channel. So make sure that your plastic box, you've got your hose hooked up and taped to the side so that it doesn't escape when you turn the water on. If you don't use a hose and you have like an igloo cooler set up, um, just make sure that it's propped up so that the water is going to go straight into the pool right here at the very top. So you can see that I've already placed some little army men. You can use plastic houses. I've got some toothpicks that are aligned along one of the bends in the river. I also have a couple pennies. If you want to use pennies, you can do that. Really anything the size to use as a marker would be good. And the last thing to make sure of is that your pole at the very bottom of your stream table is actually open. See my finger coming through. And you have your bucket ready to catch the water coming out. If you don't have a bucket here, you're going to have a big mess. So to start, once you have everything set up, as you see here, We'll turn the water on slowly at first to make sure it doesn't splatter everywhere. And then you're going to let it run. And eventually, very slowly, you'll see the water coming down the channel. And make sure that you've sketched this at the very start before you've turned on your water. You'll see the lake filling up at the bottom and eventually the water will start to pour out. And let this run for a while. Make sure you're watching it so you can see what happens, see where the erosion is, where the deposition is. And um, once you're finished, once you've completed this whole experiment, you're going to do another sketch and mark where you've had things break, erode away, so on and so forth. So for the next experiment involving streams, you're going to take your stream table, remove that curved channel that we had in the last experiment, and then smooth it all out. And then we're going to make a fairly straight channel. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight. You don't want it to be too deep because you don't want it to go all the way down to the bottom. Just take the sand, move it out of the way. Let me do one more pass. So it's pretty straight, fairly even slope all the way down. And then you can place some army men in random locations. You don't have to put them in the same exact places that I do. You can put them wherever you want. And then if you would like to put some of these toothpicks in in some random spots, you can do that as well. That way it makes it a little bit easier to note some of the changes that happen as the stream changes over time. And so you can put in as, as many or as few as you would like, just as long as you have some on each section of the river. And then again, make sure you've got your bucket at the bottom to catch the water, your hose taped so it won't go anywhere. And then we'll slowly turn that water on again. And then for this one, you're going to let it run for a significant period of time. So you're going to leave this and you're going to come back to it a little bit later. So you'll hopefully see over a certain period of time some changes that occur. And I can already see some that are happening right now. So let it run. Make sure your bucket's here. Check your bucket to make sure it's not filling up. You don't want it to overflow. So that would not be very fun to have to clean that mess up. And then make your sketches and answer your questions in your lab manual. So the rest of your lab has to do with using some of the maps that are provided, figures, and Google Earth files to answer the questions in lab. So make sure you're following all the directions and you read things very carefully and you follow the appropriate links for each section. Things are organized based on what maps you're looking at and where you're going to go for each of these different sections of your lab. So please email me if you have questions and I will see you in lab.